J.D. Vance, the junior senator from Ohio, found himself in the center of a political firestorm following a contentious interview with CNN's Dana Bash. Vance, once a sharp critic of Donald Trump, has now become a staunch defender of the former president and his brand of politics. During the CNN interview, Vance made several inflammatory claims, most notably about the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border. He accused the Biden administration of deliberately engineering a crisis by encouraging illegal immigration, a claim often repeated by right-wing media outlets but lacking factual basis. Vance's rhetoric, however, went beyond mere political posturing. By making unfounded accusations and exploiting people's fears, Vance was contributing to a climate of distrust and division, further eroding the fabric of American democracy. One of Vance's most egregious claims during the CNN interview concerned the situation in Haiti. He accused the Biden administration of deliberately allowing a surge of Haitian migrants to enter the U.S., painting a picture of an open border overrun by foreigners. This claim was not only misleading but also deeply offensive to Haitian Americans and those familiar with the ongoing crisis in Haiti. Vance's attempt to link the situation at the border to Haiti was a blatant attempt to exploit a humanitarian crisis for political gain by falsely claiming that the Biden administration was encouraging this exodus. Vance was cynically using the plight of Haitians to score political points. His words echoed the dehumanizing rhetoric often used by nativist politicians to demonize immigrants and stoke fear among their constituents. The dangers of Vance's rhetoric extend far beyond the realm of political discourse. By spreading misinformation and fear-mongering about immigration, Vance and those who share his views are contributing to a climate of hostility towards immigrants that has real-world consequences. Hate crimes against Latinos have been on the rise in recent years, fueled in part by the kind of inflammatory language used by Vance and his ilk. Moreover, Vance's claims about a manufactured crisis at the border distract from the very real challenges facing the U.S. immigration system. By focusing on fabricated crises and demonizing immigrants, Vance and his allies are preventing meaningful debate on comprehensive immigration reform. Addressing the root causes of migration, such as poverty, violence, and climate change, requires a nuanced and compassionate approach, not the kind of simplistic and divisive rhetoric peddled by Vance. Vance's transformation from Trump critic to Trump acolyte has been both swift and perplexing to many. Once a sharp observer of the dangers posed by Trumpism, Vance now seems to have fully embraced the former president's playbook, complete with its reliance on misinformation, fear-mongering, and personal attacks. This shift raises serious questions about Vance's authenticity and his willingness to prioritize power over principle. Like Trump, Vance frequently takes to Twitter to attack his critics, spread misinformation, and stoke outrage among his followers. By engaging in such divisive rhetoric, Vance is contributing to the polarization of American politics and undermining civil discourse. This willingness to embrace conspiracy theories and undermine public trust in democratic institutions is deeply troubling, particularly coming from someone who holds elected office. Section 5 unmasking the charlatan lies versus bullshit. To understand the nature of Vance's rhetoric, it is helpful to turn to Harry Frankfurt's seminal essay on bullshit. Frankfurt distinguishes between lying and bullshitting, arguing that while the liar is concerned with concealing the truth, the bullshitter is indifferent to it. Vance's pronouncements on immigration, particularly his claims about a manufactured crisis and the role of Haitian migrants, fall squarely into the category of bullshit. He is not so much concerned with whether his claims are true or false, as he is with creating a narrative that resonates with his base and advances his political agenda. The danger of bullshit, as Frankfurt argues, is that it erodes trust and undermines the possibility of meaningful dialogue. Section 6. The Anatomy of Vance's Bullshit Vance's brand of bullshit is particularly insidious because it often masquerades as common sense or appeals to people's fears and prejudices. By presenting his claims in a folksy, relatable manner, Vance is able to connect with audiences who might otherwise be skeptical of his message. This carefully constructed persona allows him to spread misinformation and sow division under the guise of authenticity. Vance's claims about immigration, for example, play into the fears of some Americans that their jobs, culture, and way of life are under threat from outsiders. This creates a dangerous feedback loop 
where misinformation and outrage are constantly amplified. Section 7. A Legacy of Lies, From Trump to Vance Vance's embrace of Trumpian tactics is not an isolated phenomenon, but rather part of a larger trend in American politics. The rise of social media, coupled with the decline of trust in traditional institutions, has created a fertile ground for the spread of misinformation and the normalization of lying. Vance, a savvy political operator, recognized the effectiveness of Trump's playbook and has adopted it as his own. He understands that in the age of social media, truth is often less important than narrative, and that outrage and emotion can be more powerful than facts and logic. This cynical calculation has served him well politically, but it comes at a steep cost to the integrity of American democracy. Section 8. The Erosion of Truth in the Age of Disinformation Vance's rise to prominence coincides with a broader erosion of truth in the digital age. The proliferation of social media platforms has created an environment where misinformation can spread rapidly and unchecked, often outpacing efforts to debunk it. This has led to a situation where people are bombarded with competing narratives, making it difficult to discern fact from fiction. This erosion of truth is further exacerbated by the decline of trust in traditional institutions, such as the media, government, and experts. As trust in these institutions declines, people become more susceptible to misinformation and conspiracy theories, creating a vicious cycle that further erodes public trust. The consequences of this erosion of truth are profound, undermining the very foundations of democracy, which relies on an informed citizenry capable of making rational decisions. Section 9. The Imperative of Truth and Accountability Combating the spread of misinformation and holding those who peddle it accountable is crucial for safeguarding democracy. This requires a multi-pronged approach that includes promoting media literacy, supporting independent journalism, and holding social media platforms accountable for amplifying harmful content. Media literacy plays a vital role in empowering individuals to critically evaluate information and identify misinformation. By equipping citizens with these skills, we can help them navigate the complex information landscape and make informed decisions. Supporting independent journalism is also essential, as it provides a vital check on power and holds those in authority accountable. Section 10, Vance's Faustian Bargain, Power Over Principle. J.D. Vance's trajectory from Trump critic to Trump disciple reveals a Faustian bargain at the heart of his political ascent. He has seemingly chosen to prioritize power over principle, embracing the very tactics he once condemned in pursuit of political expediency. This transformation raises troubling questions about his authenticity and his commitment to the values he claims to espouse. Vance's embrace of Trumpian tactics has come at a steep cost, alienating former allies and tarnishing his reputation as a thoughtful conservative voice. Whether this Faustian bargain will ultimately prove successful remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. Vance's legacy will be forever intertwined with his embrace of Trumpism and its attendant consequences. Vance's story serves as a cautionary tale about the seductive nature of power and the compromises some are willing to make in its pursuit. Section 11, The Enduring Threat to Democracy. The rise of J.D. Vance and his embrace of Trumpian tactics represent an enduring threat to American democracy. His willingness to spread misinformation, exploit people's fears, and undermine democratic institutions is a stark reminder that the fight to preserve truth, accountability, and the rule of law is far from over. Vance's story is a microcosm of the challenges facing American democracy in the 21st century. The erosion of truth, the decline of trust in institutions, and the rise of political polarization are all threats that must be confronted head-on if we are to preserve the integrity of our democracy. The future of American democracy hinges on our ability to restore trust, uphold truth, and hold those in power accountable. The fight for a more perfect union continues.